Are you or someone close grappling with the challenges of kidney problems or chronic kidney disease, CKD? Navigating through the complexities of this condition can feel daunting, especially when it comes to your diet. But fret not, because you're not alone in this journey. Welcome to our channel, where today we're zeroing in on a crucial aspect of kidney health management, dietary potassium control. Before we dive into the heart of today's topic, if this is your first time joining us, make sure to click the like button, subscribe for more insightful health guides, and ring that notification bell so you're always in the loop with our latest advice and tips. Dealing with kidney problems isn't solely about following medical treatments. It's equally important to adopt dietary habits that safeguard your kidney health. High potassium levels, a common concern for those with CKD, can have severe, even life-threatening implications, such as hyperkalemia, which disrupts heart rhythm and overall well-being. But did you know that certain vegetables, while generally healthy, could pose risks due to their high potassium content? Today, we're unveiling 10 such high potassium vegetables that individuals with kidney issues may need to moderate or exclude to maintain optimal potassium levels. Stay tuned as we navigate through these dietary modifications together, offering you a roadmap to managing your potassium intake effectively. Let's embark on this informative journey. Number one. Potatoes and sweet potatoes. So let's talk about potatoes and sweet potatoes, those delicious veggies that are staples in so many of our favorite dishes. Here's a little heads up. They're absolutely loaded with potassium. Potassium's a good guy for most of us, keeping our muscles and hearts working right. But for people dealing with kidney issues, too much of it can be a bit of a problem. You might have heard of a trick called leaching, where you soak those cut-up potatoes in water to try and get some of the potassium out before you cook them. It's like trying to persuade the potatoes to let go of some of that potassium. But here's the kicker. This soaking method, it doesn't always work wonders, especially for folks who really have to watch their potassium intake super closely because of serious health concerns. So while potatoes and sweet potatoes are awesome and delicious, they might need a break from some people's plates to keep health in check. Number two, tomatoes and tomato products. Okay, let's dive into the world of tomatoes and all the products they get turned into, like tomato sauce and tomato juice. Here's a little surprise for you. These red gems are actually packed with potassium. Now, potassium is like the unsung hero that helps our muscles and nerves do their thing, especially the all-important heart muscle. But plot twist, for people who have to keep a close eye on their potassium because of kidney issues, this can be a bit of a challenge. Think about how common tomatoes are in our diets. They pop up everywhere from your spaghetti sauce to your morning glass of tomato juice. It's almost like discovering your favorite everyday sneakers are suddenly not fitting right. And while we all love a good tomato-based dish, those with strict potassium limits might need to rethink how often they're including these in their meals. It's all about finding that balance to keep things running smoothly without overloading on the potassium. Number three, spinach. Let's talk about spinach, that leafy green superhero of salads and smoothies. Spinach is like nature's own multivitamin, packed with all sorts of good stuff. But here's a twist. Spinach is also loaded with potassium. That's right, whether you're tossing it raw into a salad or wilting it down to add to your pasta, you're getting a hefty dose of potassium. Now, for the interesting part, when you cook spinach, it's like concentrating all its powers, including the potassium, into a smaller package. This means that cooked spinach actually has more potassium in less space. For most of us, that's great news. Hello, muscle and nerve health. But for folks who need to watch their potassium intake because their kidneys are on the struggle bus, this veggie could be a bit of a challenge. It's kind of like having a superhero in your fridge that you have to learn how to manage properly. So, while spinach is fantastic for your health in a lot of ways, those managing kidney issues might need to keep an eye on how much of this green powerhouse they eat, especially when it's cooked. Number four, beet greens. Now let's venture into the world of beet greens, those leafy tops that sprout above the ground while the beetroot hides below. You might not think much about them, or maybe you've been tossing them aside when you're after the beetroot for your salad or juice. But here's the scoop. Beet greens are like the hidden treasure of the vegetable world, especially when it comes to potassium content. Yep, those leafy greens are even more packed with potassium than the beetroot itself. Potassium is a big deal for keeping our bodies ticking over nicely, helping with everything from muscle contractions to sending nerve signals. But, and it's a big but, for folks who need to watch their potassium intake due to kidney issues, Beet greens can be a bit too much of a good thing. It's like finding out that the bonus level in your favorite game is actually super hard. Beet greens are super nutritious and can be delicious in all sorts of dishes, from stir fries to soups, but if you're on a low potassium diet, you might need to approach them with caution. They're packed with potassium, 
so it's worth knowing how to balance them with the rest of your diet to keep everything in harmony. Number five, white beans. All right, let's spill the beans about, well, beans. Specifically, we're talking about white beans. Think cannellini, navy, and great northern beans. These aren't just any beans. They're like the heavyweights of the potassium world among vegetables. If potassium were a currency, these beans would be rolling in it, making them super valuable for a lot of health reasons. Potassium, our friend that keeps muscles working and nerves firing correctly, is super abundant in these beans. That's fantastic for most of us, helping everything from heart health to muscle function. But here's where it gets tricky. For people who have to monitor their potassium intake closely because of kidney issues, these beans could pose a bit of a challenge. Imagine your favorite video game where you collect coins for points, too many points, and you might just overload the game. Similarly, loading up on these beans when you need to keep your potassium levels in check could be too much of a good thing. While white beans are awesome for their protein, fiber, and other nutrients, anyone with kidney concerns might need to navigate their bean consumption more carefully to keep their health game on point. Number six, avocados. Avocados, those creamy, dreamy fruits that have taken the world by storm from toast to smoothies are actually packed with potassium. Yep, beneath that green, bumpy exterior and the smooth, rich interior lies a potassium powerhouse. This nutrient is a big deal for keeping our heart beating right and our muscles moving smoothly. But here's the catch. For folks who need to watch their potassium levels, like those with kidney issues, avocados might need to become more of a treat than a daily staple. While avocados are often celebrated for their healthy fats and fiber, making them a favorite in many health-conscious diets, they come with a caveat for those on a low-potassium diet. Think of it like enjoying your favorite superhero movie series. It's fantastic in moderation, but you might not want to binge watch the entire thing in one go if you have other priorities. Similarly, enjoying avocados in moderation is key for those balancing their potassium intake. Number seven, Swiss chard. Swiss chard, a leafy green that might not be as famous as its cousin spinach but definitely deserves some spotlight, is also a potassium champion. This vibrant vegetable, with its colorful stems and dark green leaves, packs a punch of nutrients, including a hefty dose of potassium. Just like with spinach, when you cook Swiss chard, it's like concentrating all its natural goodness, including that all-important potassium, into a smaller, more potent package. Potassium is super important for things like keeping our muscles working properly and making sure our heart beats the way it should. But here's the thing. For people who need to keep an eye on their potassium levels because their kidneys aren't playing ball, Swiss chard needs to be on the enjoy carefully list. It's kind of like having a really powerful app on your phone that eats up all your battery. It's great but you've got to use it wisely. So while Swiss chard can be a delicious addition to meals, especially for those looking to pack in the vitamins, it's something that folks watching their potassium intake might want to enjoy in moderation, much like they would with other high potassium foods. Number eight, acorn squash. Acorn squash, that cute little winter squash with a shape like an acorn, is actually a bit of a nutrient powerhouse. It's loaded with fiber, which is great for keeping your digestive system happy, but there's more to it. Acorn squash also comes packed with potassium. This mineral is a big deal for keeping our muscles working right and our hearts beating steadily. However, here's the plot twist for those with kidney concerns. Because their kidneys might not be able to handle too much potassium, acorn squash could be one of those foods they need to watch out for. It's a bit like having a super powerful flashlight. It's fantastic for exploring, but you've got to be careful not to shine it directly in your eyes. So, while acorn squash is a fantastic choice for many, offering up a sweet, nutty flavor and lots of health benefits, it's something that people managing their potassium intake need to approach with caution. Think of it as a special guest star in your diet rather than a regular cast member, especially if you're keeping an eye on potassium for kidney health. Number nine, sweet peppers. Sweet peppers, which include those vibrant bell peppers and their spicier cousins, chili peppers, add more than just a splash of color and a kick of flavor to our meals. They're also sneaking in a good dose of potassium, this mineral is a bit of a celebrity in the world of nutrients, playing key roles in keeping our muscles moving and our hearts beating as they should. But here's a little twist for anyone with kidney concerns. Despite their health benefits and ability to jazz up just about any dish, these peppers come with a side of potassium that might need monitoring. It's kind of like having a playlist full of your favorite tunes. It's great, but you might not want to play it on full blast all the time if it's going to bother the neighbors. So while bell peppers and chili peppers can make your dishes sing with flavor, if you're watching your potassium intake, 
you might want to keep track of how much of these colorful veggies you're adding to your plate. Number 10, kale. Kale, the superstar of leafy greens that's been rocking the health world, isn't just about trendy smoothies and salads. It's packed with nutrients, making it a real powerhouse in your diet. But here's the kicker. Kale also brings a hefty dose of potassium to the table, especially when you cook it down. This mineral is super important for lots of body functions, like making sure our muscles and heart are doing their job right. However, for folks who need to keep an eye on their potassium levels due to kidney issues, kale presents a bit of a conundrum. It's like having a blockbuster movie that's a must-watch, but you've got to be mindful of the volume to keep the peace with your neighbors. And there you have it, folks, a comprehensive guide on 10 vegetables high in potassium that those with kidney issues may need to watch out for or limit in their diets. From the everyday staples like potatoes and sweet potatoes to the vibrant and nutritious spinach, kale, and beyond, understanding the potassium content in these foods is key to managing kidney health effectively. Remember, while these vegetables are packed with nutrients that are beneficial for most people, those with kidney problems or chronic kidney disease need to navigate their diets carefully to avoid complications such as hyperkalemia. If you found this guide enlightening and helpful, don't forget to show us some love by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel for more invaluable health guides, and ringing that notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Your engagement and support fuel our passion to share knowledge and help our community thrive. Every like, subscribe, and comment is deeply appreciated and encourages us to keep delivering content that makes a difference in your lives. Before we wrap up, let's leave you with a thought to inspire your journey towards better health. Your health is an investment, not an expense. Though it may not always seem so, every positive choice you make today lays the foundation for a healthier tomorrow. Stay informed, stay proactive, and here's to taking charge of your kidney health with wisdom and courage. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.